Hey guys, Josh here. Thank you for tuning in to Red Cloud Outdoors. All right, so recently I talked about my ditty bag and the contents within my ditty bag. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my fire kit. And for my fire kit, I keep everything in a Kafaru pullout, just a smaller version of the same kind of pouch that I use for my ditty bag. So I really like the Kafaru pouches, as I mentioned in the previous video. So they're rugged, they're tough, a little expensive, yes, but they have served me well, so something to check into if you're looking for some rugged, durable pouches to organize all your kits and gear and things like that. Okay, so let's dive in. No order, just jumping in, grabbing what I grab, pulling it out. So, first and foremost, just a small square of aluminum foil that will fold out to a little bit larger sheet. And aluminum foil comes in handy. You can use it for all sorts of things from a windscreen to just a small little ground pad, which is what I use it for. Um, I use trioxane a lot and solid fuel a lot to cook with. So I can lay this on the ground, lay my esbit or trioxane on top of it and fashion some sort of stove if I need to and just use that to boil some water for coffee or food or whatever I want to use it for. It's just a barrier between the cold ground and the actual fuel. So can't go wrong with aluminum foil. Next up is my favorite fire starter, which is trioxane. And I keep two pieces of trioxane in my fire kit. And again, I'll use that for cooking, but most of the time I'll just use it as a quick, easy uh, fire starter, especially the next morning. If I don't really want to fool with a fire or something like that, I can just have a quick down and dirty fire, throw some trioxane in there. It lights up quick, it lights up easy, and in no time, I've got fire. Next, I have some more solid fuel, just one Esbit tablet, and I've had this in there forever. I just have it in just as a spare, as a backup. There's a bird over here that... <laughs> I didn't know what that was, but yeah. Next, I just have a small baggie of dryer lint, just another fire starting option, so nothing fancy. I have this tin can, which is a Camel Snus can from back in my days of using this stuff. But um, I just have several matches in here with a rubber band around them to secure everything within. And I just have a small striker there that I can strike my match on and get it going so just again just a backup option because i do have just a small big lighter in here and if for some reason i lose my lighter or forget my lighter or whatever i do with my lighter to cause me not to have it i have a backup as far as matches go so yeah small big lighter in here i also have a, a little bit dirty fresnel lens I just keep it in here just for the heck of it so I never use it I never I start a fire that way because I'm kind of lazy and why I do that when I have a lighter and matches but it's there anyway I also have just a couple of fat wood sticks in here that I can shave off and uh, have a quick fire that way I have a ferrule rod that I can use in conjunction with the uh, fat wood sticks and this is a firesteel.com I believe ferrule rod and uh, works well so I have that in there as well because sometimes you just want to play around and use a ferrule rod so it's fun to use and it's not all that difficult uh, also in here I have this pocket bellows just telescopic bellows which works really well and I like this because I have asthma so I don't have a ton of wind. So when I get down and I blow into a fire, it just really doesn't seem to have much effect on the fire. So when I use this and I can really channel that air, what little air that I have into the fire, this just seems to have a, a bigger influence or a bigger impact on the fire when I use one of these. So that is always in my fire kit. And again, the Kafaru pullout, just the small size and I just have a piece of cordage on the end of it. That way I can reach in my bag because I have a couple of these that I use for different things. So I know this one is my fire kit just by the cordage on the end of it, reach in, grab it, 
use what I need to use, get my fire going, and I'm good to go. So, that is pretty much the end of my fire kit. Again, I don't carry a ton of stuff in my fire kit. I know a lot of people do. They carry a lot of different uh, fire starting options, um, a lot of different uh, things that they can use fire starters as far as fuel and things like that. So, a lot of people carry birch bark and different things like that. I don't live in an area where there's a lot of birch bark, so my fire kit is pretty simplistic. I like a couple of methods that I use, and every once in a while I'll play around with the ferrule rod or something like that, but generally matches, lighter, you know, I'm good to go. So I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here that I'm not really going to use. And I'm not saying that people that pack their fire kits, you know, full of stuff are not going to use that stuff. I think that's cool, and I've really considered doing that. But when it comes right down to it, I just personally don't need all the extra things that I'm not going to use and the extra weight and space that those, those things are going to take up. So just for the sake of simplicity, I use these. So not a lot, not a lot of complicated gadgets or items in here. Just a couple of backups, a couple of ways to start the fire, a couple ignition sources and things like that. So for what I do, that's good enough for me. So. Anyway, that's my fire kit, guys. If you have any suggestions or comments, jump down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know those suggestions or maybe just what you use. I like to hear what other people use. So, yeah, pass, them, pass those along my way. I'd love to hear what you got. But, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to Red Cloud Outdoors. I'll be back soon with another video. Not sure what that video might be or what it might entail. Hopefully, it'll be something out in the woods, but we shall see. But thanks again, guys. Like subscribe, do all that good stuff if you've not done so yet, and I will see you next time.